Hey, yo, Jay, can we get some ratchet one time? Look, I don't wanna talk. How you try and press the kid and really you was soft. All you know is capping, homie, you don't know the law. Pedal to the metal, you ain't catching me in park. I just hit the stop, I don't wanna speak. Talking all that good, so I just hit you with the please. Running up the score like Tyreek, I'm going deep. Watch me how I'm saucing, I be spreading it with ease. You gon' see the peace, you gon' see the flex when you hear these writings. Trust me, you know the difference. I got a long ways to climb before you see a slippage. I see the process and the journey I'm supposed to be, but purple. Alright, guys, so we got this 2018 Maybach finishing up. We have a few little pieces left, but overall, most of it is complete. This one is a customer that brought me one last year, got a new one getting another wrap so second vehicle from the same customer we are going with a two-tone look so on the last one we did top black bottom gray or silver on this one we're going with a gloss black or a jet black and bottom gloss white i feel like that look is going to be perfect it almost looks like a super villain from a movie so i can't wait to see this put together and we're also going to finish it off with some ceramic coating so it's going to be extra glossy here on my right side i also have a Brand new Tesla Model 3. Customer that brought it in for a full PPF. Even though it looks satin, this is PPF. So it keeps the same color as the car. This car used to be white. Now we have a clear satin finish on there. It protects the entire car. We did the whole thing. Most of the time you see clear wraps on the front, but on this one we went all the way and changed the look. So it almost looks like satin pearl white. If you got a new car, you should definitely hit us up for some clear paint protection film. It protects against rock chips, scratches, and all those things that could happen to you when you're driving on the road. The last thing we're gonna finish off this car with is gonna be ceramic coating as well. Right here on my left side, I have a big one. So here we have a brand new Navigator. Customer brought it in and got everything done to it. We're getting the wheels powder coated gloss black. I also got some pieces that are getting painted gloss black. All the chrome gone. You got a new car and you wanna get rid of that chrome, hit us up, cause we can take care of that too. This one got a 3M satin dark gray. It looks real good with that gloss black accent. It's gonna look perfect. We're gonna finish it off with a ceramic coating as well. Can't wait to finish this one up. Lots of work, so stick around and see what's next. wheels are back they're finished up let me show you how they look all the way blacked out they used to be silver when we started the only thing we're keeping is that logo right there it's gonna look real good on there these are some giant wheels they're super super heavy so I'm not gonna try to pick them up I just rolled them off the truck <laughs> that right there is why I put my clothes on. This thing is getting ready to get put back on. We got all the pieces back from the paint shop. Got the wheels from the powder coater. And it uh, should be ready hopefully sometime tonight or by tomorrow morning so I can turn it in. crazy busy today because I have a few things going on. I got cars leaving, I got cars that want to come in, and I also have a class I want to teach. I'm supposed to teach it this Thursday and Friday, so I have some of the tools here that I'm going to give away to each classmate or each uh, student. The problem is that I've been so busy and I forgot to order everything. I thought I had it all. I usually keep extras. For some reason I missed it and I didn't order anything. This is all I got here. Most of it I did find here in Houston, some of it I found it in Austin, some in Dallas, and I got a few other parts coming, or materials I guess, or tools. Man, I keep getting messed up. You're probably gonna get here until Friday, but that's fine because Friday is the day that I do all the hands-on training, so I'm lucky on that one. By the time they need it, I'll have everything going. And uh, here's what people get. I got one ready to go, but I need like eight more of these because I got nine students coming, but it's pretty cool, good pouch. 
some uh, magnets and a few other tools here. Pretty much everything they need. And it works. You could literally do a full car with this. So, yeah. I got Jose putting together that uh, navigator. We're starting off a little bit late. We just got the parts back from the painter. We're cutting it close because I do want to turn it in tomorrow. And I still got to coat it. And Jose has to put everything back together. He took that thing completely apart. And now he has to put it back together super carefully. Making sure everything's good. We'll see how long it takes. If not, I'm going to have to stay a little bit late just to make it happen. But, yeah. I want to show you guys the, the crazy things that go on over here. <laughs> saying some crazy stuff in my comments and I know a video is doing good if there's some negative comments like here's what I'm looking at there's also a lot of good ones so big shout out to those people that give uh, positive vibes these negative ones are, are something else straight until the Sun eats the rap within six months and then again paying a fortune to get another wrap. <laughs> I don't get it. Why would anyone get their car wrapped considering they're taking a razor and cutting the film on your car? And one wash, scratch to hell. Are they using sandpaper to wash it? Man, there's too many comments like this. I might as well go ahead and address all these different comments, man. Let's make that happen. Alright, so it's time to answer some of these comments because I see a lot of crazy ones on my videos. Every time a video does really well, I see lots of crazy stuff. A lot of it, specifically negative, I gotta go ahead and address. Alright, so going off this video, this one has 28 million views on YouTube. Things I hear as a professional installer, and I specifically chose certain comments on there because I knew that they were wrong. <laughs> This guy said, anyone can do that, it's nothing special. Yeah, I'm teaching a lot of people how to wrap vehicles, but at the same time, I also feel like you kind of got to have it in you, kind of like an art. Not just anyone can do that. We wouldn't be in business if everyone could just do it. People are bringing us their cars because we do things at a whole different level. Just like a chef, you could cook, but he could probably cook a lot better than you can. So that's that right there. <laughs> Here's another one. This is a crazy one because I see this all the time and I see it in different ways. They said, it'll start peeling and fall off. Some people say that as you're driving, Driving on the freeway, your wrap's gonna just come off the car, and it's not like that. I've never seen a wrap peel off ever. Even the bad ones, like the low quality ones, will not fall off your car. It'd be cool if it came off pretty easily, but they don't. So, when it comes to removing it, it also takes some good work. It's not as easy as they think that it's just gonna fall off. That's not gonna happen. We do full disassembly so that we get some good coverage all the way down to the edges. It's not gonna peel easy. If it was easy, we wouldn't charge to remove it. Talking about charging, so this guy said, you charge too much, I could buy it for way cheaper. And yes, you could buy the material yourself. If you know how to wrap, you can install it for cheaper because you're not paying anyone for labor. But if you come to us, we're typically on the higher side because our quality is way better or higher than most other people. There's definitely a lot of people wrapping vehicles and there's different levels to it. I started at the bottom, so I wasn't charging as much. As my quality went up, the pricing also goes up with it, but we do some really good work. You can kind of see one right behind me. So real good work means that you're gonna pay extra money for it, but you're gonna get the best results. Lots of people say, why not just paint it? And that's a more of a preference thing. I feel like wraps are not exactly meant to replace paint job. If your paint is in bad condition, bad quality, or something that's fading because of the sun or cracking, uh, clear coat cracking, then you definitely should get a paint job. You should not be getting a wrap. Wraps are meant to go over good quality paint. If the paint is not in good condition, you should probably not wrap it. So paint and wrap are two different things. Wraps are not meant to replace paint and a lot of people do not understand that. So speaking about paint, one of the things I hear the most all the time on lots of videos is that wraps will destroy your paint they'll damage your paint and this is not true it could be true depending on the type of film that you use so if you cheap out on the film that you put on your car then yes there's a high chance that it may destroy your paint or if you didn't install it properly so different things could matter when it comes to wrapping a vehicle if you use the good films it is not going to destroy your paint unless your paint is in bad condition it is old it is starting to fade or crack because of the sun yes if your paint is not in good condition 
there's a good chance it will fail. So the wrap is not gonna do anything but show that the paint wasn't good. If you install it properly on a good paint and use the good films, it's not gonna damage it. One of the things I see all the time is he's cutting the paint. A lot of times I use my blade on videos specifically because I know it gets people upset. <laughs> so they're saying he's scratching the paint with the blade. No, if you wrap properly, you are not gonna cut on the paint. We're normally cutting in between panels, not on the actual paint itself. So the blade is not touching anything but the film. It looks scary, but that's the reason why I show it on videos, but we're not cutting on the paint. As long as you know how to do it properly, you're not gonna damage the paint at all, cause that's the whole purpose of doing this. But yeah, we're not damaging the paint. So this one says, I can get a paint job for cheaper, and that may be true. If you go with a super cheap painter, then yes, you could find one for cheaper, but half the time, I would say 99% of the time, a cheap paint job is not gonna be good, just like a cheap wrap. We see that all the time. We've had customers that would literally go paint their car and end up still getting a wrap. If you go with a cheap one, you can't compare it to a good wrap because yes, the wrap is gonna cost more if you're comparing the wrong thing. You gotta compare a professional wrap to a professional paint job and then you see that big difference. This one's a good one. What about the door jams? Everyone asks that all the time. And I come from a background where we used to paint our cars and if you didn't have your door jams and you weren't doing it right. So I understand that. But when it comes to a wrap, Wraps are meant to be temporary. They're not meant to replace your paint. Half the time, I would say 99% of the time, wrapping your door jams is pretty much a waste of time and money. We don't really do it, but we do it sometimes. Sometimes a customer really wants it, we'll go ahead and make it happen, but there's nothing stopping us from making it happen. They keep saying it like if it's impossible. No, you could literally keep on wrapping just like you do the outside, but I don't think it's worth it. Unless the car is like a bright yellow going a completely different color or a bright red or something like that. But nah, most of the time we don't do that. Someone said, <laughs> someone said way to ruin the car. I'm not even gonna address that. How much for a chrome wrap? I could get candy paint for cheaper, yes. But could you get a chrome paint job for cheaper than a chrome wrap? Cause you're comparing two different things. Candy paint and chrome are two different things. Like literally if you put a chrome wrap next to a, a candy paint job, they're not gonna look the same cause it's totally different. Someone said it's nice until you get it in an accident. What do you think happens to paint? Like, as soon as you get in an accident, <laughs> your whole car gets messed up. What do you mean? I saw it on eBay for $20. I saw it on eBay for 100 bucks. I saw it for $50, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you just wasted $20 worth of material. That goes back to using cheap vinyl. If you use the cheap stuff, yes, you could find it, but is it gonna be good for your car? No, it's not. When you use that, you're gonna have a really, really bad time taking it off. Ceramic coating a wrap is pointless. I'm addressing this one only because I talk about it so much on all my videos. It's not pointless. The reason you put it on there is for the same exact reason you would put it on a paint job. It helps the wrap last longer, gives it extra UV protection against the sun. It also makes it easier to wash and maintain. So like that stuff doesn't stick to your wrap. And when you wash it, it comes right off. So it makes your wrap last longer or it keeps it in good condition for much longer than it regularly would sitting out in the sun. So I don't think it's pointless, but it's all your opinion. Uh, same reasons why you would put it on paint. I'm gonna finish off with one last one. And I put this one at the very end because I knew it was gonna trigger people that don't like wraps. And I knew it was also gonna make people that do like them feel a little bit uneasy and it is $10,000 for a chrome wrap is a scam. <laughs> and there's a reason why we charge what we charge specifically when it comes to chrome. Chrome is a whole different ball game. Here in my city, most shops won't even offer chrome because they don't know how to do it. It's too much trouble. You're more likely to take a loss where it's not even worth even offering it. So we're one of the only ones that could even do this. So yes, it's gonna cost more and the material we use costs way, way higher than most of the wraps. So you can't really compare a normal wrap to a chrome. That's a whole different ball game, not the same. And if you want, you could definitely give it a try yourself and see how it goes. As I keep scrolling, I see more comments. There's a lot of them, but I feel like those were like the top ones that I see all the time. I wanted to go ahead and address them to give you guys the correct information because there's a lot of misinformation in my comments and I can't always be there to answer them. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you drop a like and a comment so I can keep dropping some more and I'll see you next time. Man, it is cold up in here now. If you see that, the AC is not working. Big shout out to our boy Matt came through and took care of it. So we back in business.